Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. So I have just had a team event this weekend that I hosted for my team, funnily enough, and not the cat who's now on the desk. And this was one of the projects that I taught them how to make. So it's a concertina kind of card stroke album. Um, oh, really, Sorrel. So you could put pictures in here, you could make it a card, whatever you fancy. So I showed them how to do that. The reason I've got two here is because one is Imperial and one is Metric. Can't remember which is which. Gonna say that that's the Imperial. So <laughs> she's headbutting my arm. So I've got all my bits and pieces prepped to make it. On my blog, I will have both Metric and Imperial written down. I will verbally say Metric and Imperial measurements as I go along. But... Um, yeah, first thing I want to do, though, is I want to get my um, flowers inked up. So kind of I'm kind of jumping around. So ignore the fact that I've pre-cut these. I will give you the measurements shortly, but I want to get these stamped in memento so that they are fully dry um, for me to then die cut. So I'm just grabbing blocks. And where's my memento? Here. Oh, is that going to fit? No, probably not. Let me use this as scrap on the back. Hmm. I have this new background here, this wood grain, but it's not white clean. <laughs> Which I probably need it to be. Oops. I need to laminate it or something. Okay, so... Those are the ones, I, the ones I'm going to die cut. They're going to go on the outside. And then these are the inside ones. I find with Memento that if I do a twist, tap, tap, I get a better impression. Okay. So I'm going to scooch those out of the way and just let them dry those over there so my piece of cardstock if you are metric you want 28 by 10 and a half centimeters and you can get two from a sheet of cardstock so that's my bit left over you can see I've taken a bit off there so 28 by 10 and a half centimeters and if you are imperial 11 by 4 and I'm going to work off my trimmer so this is metric and you score it very simply, only along the long side, at 7, 14 and 21. And if you are imperial, you're going to score it at 2 and 3 quarters, 5 and a half and 8 and a quarter inches. And like I say, it's all going to be written down on my blog, so don't worry about writing anything down. But I'm going to fold it concertina style, like that. And then just give it a bit of a burnish. Okay. So just like that. So that's going to become the inside because you're going to open it like a regular card. And what I've got here already prepped, I gave the whole team a pack of this lovely, it's the rose and the rose gold and gold. I want to call it glitter paper, but it's not glitter paper. It's got a different name. What's it called? Metallic, metallic speciality paper. Yeah, gold and rose gold, metallic speciality paper. So I gave them all a pack of that each. And so I'm going to put a gold on the outside and there. Again, for metric folk, these measure six and a half by ten centimetres. If you are imperial, two and a half by three and three quarter inches. The reason I gave them a full pack was so that they could do multiples they wanted but there is another project coming probably going to come out to you next week that uses the rose gold that I taught them okay so that's on the outside okay and then I've I cut six of these obviously I've stamped oh no I've cut too many huh. one two three four 
One, two, three, four. No, I did. I cut too many. <laughs> you only need six of them. Same measurement, six and a half by ten, or two and a half centimeters, or two and a half by three and three quarter inches. Okay. And they are going to go on the inside parts. Oh, oh. Oh, look, you see, I'll use this one. Maybe, maybe I won't use seal plus i'll just use regular seal might be easier stick a dimensional back to myself so these are going on the inside one so not that one there unless you really wanted to but you know i i'm going to put the stamped ones there And like I say, you could add a little photograph to here. You could put a sentiment. This one on the back isn't really going to have anything. Oh, silly Sam. Silly Sam was meant to put the ribbon underneath the gold. Silly Sam forgot. Oops. Okay. Let's hope these have dried down. So I've got brand new daffodil light which means I can throw my old ones out because they had gone fuzzy. Is that the old ones? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start with little splodges of dark and I'm going to do these single flowers first. And then the light. I'd use, yeah, my, my, <laughs> my dark and light daffodil light. I'd obviously use them a lot. Oh, I haven't zoomed in, silly. Oh, it's silly Sam day today. <laughs> and, oh, get, oh, really, Sorrel, love you, but, oh, for goodness sake, can't actually see over her. Um, yeah, I, Oh, it's all wrong. I'd use them so much that they'd, um, yeah, they lost their tip. She's headbutting me. Oh. Seriously, she could come to me all day long and she chooses to come along now. Honestly, move. Oh, stand on it if you want. Um, yeah, lost my train of thought. Kitty assistant. Okay, so you can see the light and the dark changing there. So if I bring these ones round. No cat. She's purring like crazy. She thinks it's a good game. Oh, she said, my glasses. I can't see what I'm doing. With blends, I try not to be too sciencey about it because it freaks me out. Oh, you move your tail. <laughs> um, and I just want to make this easy and accessible to everybody. You really want to help me, don't you? And yeah, by kind of demystifying it and doing it like this it takes the fear out of it i think and i you know sometimes i look at um craft projects on the internet and have a mild freak out moment myself and i think i could never do that and so if i take the scariness out of it the fear factor and just show it's just coloring i hope that everybody will have a go that's that's the want and desire that everybody gets to have a go right so I'm going to put those on now the colors I've chosen this one I can't remember I think granny apple green for my team I've taken pear pizzazz which I've done here and garden green so which green shall I use shall I I see granny apple green might be a bit bright I think the dark soft succulent should work okay for just these the stems, stalks. I don't know, I don't have green fingers. The leafy bit of my daffs. Yeah, I don't have green fingers, but I do have daffodils in my garden. Actually, I have narcissus. And I only know that because that's what it showed on the packet and my husband told me they were narcissus. 
but yeah I do have them in my garden and obviously I lived in Wales for many years and daffodil is the national flower of Wales and the leek don't really know why that is so I do like daffodil so I'm not doing as you can see because you know you're watching me I'm not doing the whole blend thing with these I just I like the stalk the leafy bit just to be sort of a bit scribbly okay so that's that done all of those let me zoom back out and I'm going to grab my mini cotton emboss and those two are good to go but I'm going to die cut these So, let me chop them in half first. Oh, look, there's a bit I forgot. Huh? Oops. Well, I suspect that probably won't go through my machine unless I trim it down a bit. There we go. So, I've got my base plate. I've got plate number two. And I've got the daffodil dies. I just want these outline ones, but I don't want the butterfly. Not that bad. And I've got some washi. I put that on my hand to take to de-stickify it. Just take some of that stickiness off it because you know nobody wants ripped daffodils. And then a clear plate over the top. And send it through. And the other one, exactly the same process base plate, cutting plate, stamped image and die. enough. Very excited that the magnetic platform is on its way. Very happy Sam in town that that's on its way in the next week or so. Right so let me get these stamped bits in now. So they're on there and I probably should have put the ribbon on first but you know I forgot. What I will say is that these are technically A7 size, was well, a shade under A7 in size. So A7 is a, an international A size. I don't know what it would be in American sizing but it's a it works out to be an eighth of a sheet of cardstock so if I find a full sheet of cardstock for you it's an eighth or does it go that way it goes that way so one two and then you just you can see there you go one two three four so it's a quarter of a sheet cut in half and scored in half and makes what we know as a seven size I don't know what you call it pop oh really sorrel <laughs> you, oh yeah you have but my arm 
to you. I know, I love you too. You're gorgeous. Um, <laughs> but you're not helpful. So, yeah, so that's what it works out to be. So if you're looking for an envelope, if you're going to send it as a card rather than as like a little mini album, you want, uh, you know, if you, oh, if you don't... <laughs> I know, you just headbutt my arm. Um, yeah, if you don't make your own envelopes, that's the site you're looking for. So, there we go. Assisted by a little spotty sorrel. Let me move you out of the way. You're very lovely. I've got, it's not like I haven't got a stool next to me that she could sit on. Um, but yeah, easy to make. I think they're lovely. Like I say, to me, it's a little sort of album thing. Um, and I think they're gorgeous. I think they're really sweet, really nice. No idea if the team liked them or not because I filmed, I'm filming this the day before the team event. I'm assuming they did. Or they're too polite to tell me no, they don't like them. So, anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.